Florida native, Plant Grant. For Style Magazine's Hometown Headlines, I'm Mark Roberts. Production support for the Style Hometown Headlines is made possible by Tri-County Foot and Ankle, quality foot and ankle care for people of all ages. The Lake County Water Authority recently held a forum to discuss a new grant they're offering for homeowners, businesses, nonprofits, pretty much anybody, to improve lakefront properties. The grant will fund up to $500 in purchases of Florida native and aquatic plants. For more information, visit lcwa.org. Claremont's Lake Point Academy was recently designated as a certified schoolyard habitat through the National Wildlife Federation's Garden for Wildlife program. The transformation will allow students to engage in learning in a hands-on way with Florida wildlife and native plants. Lake Sumter State College recently announced it will receive $17.5 million from the state of Florida for the State of the Art Workforce Development Center. The center will provide hands-on experiences for Lake Sumter students. The planning and design of the center is slated to begin in the upcoming fiscal year, with completion as early as 2025. Livid Events recently donated $13,000 to Lake Technical College for student scholarships. The funds were raised at the second annual Mount Dora Livid Bike Ride held in March. The $10,000 raised at last year's event provided scholarships to 11 Lake Tech students. The Claremont Police Department recently earned reaccreditation from the Commission for Florida Law Enforcement Accreditation, certifying that a law enforcement agency maintains the highest professional standards. Claremont was originally accredited in 2004 and has earned reaccreditation ever since. Mellow Mushroom's back with a whimsical Wonderland remodel. Check out Style's July feature on this popular pizza place and prepare to drool. Pick up your copy of Style around town or online. For more local news and community features, check out lakeandsumterstyle.com. And if you have an event, press release, or just some news worth sharing, send it to us at info at redapplesmedia.com. That's this week's Style Hometown Headlines on LSTV Digital. I'm Mark Roberts. Walking the dog was extremely painful. I had ingrown toenails, and it was really hard to walk, of course. And I went to Dr. Wu's office at Tri-County Foot and Ankle, and then removed the ingrown toenail. And voila, I can walk again. Schedule your appointment at Tri-County Foot and Ankle, tcfavillages.com.